Hello everyone! The content of the first packet deals with three essential elements. So this is the first packet that I gave to you. And it deals with three elements, three essential elements. So let's start with the first one really quick and let's set them first. So we, we have probability and set theory. The second element is permutation and pr probability. The third one is combinations and probability. So in this video, we'll talk briefly about the essential points of each of those three elements, which are well detailed in the packet. And of course, I even put at your disposal my email for all your questions, as you can also use Google Classroom app for further, I mean, for better communication. All right, let's start with the first, first element, which is probability and set theory. But before we talk about probability, I think we need to, to work with sets a little bit. So what is a set? A set is a, a collection of distinct objects. Each object in a set is called an element. In order to understand better this, I have a little example that you can find in your packet. So the little example is the, I mean, I mean it's the same example, by the way, with the, uh, the one that is in your packet. So the example said what? So let's work with sets first. It said, uh, let's have, for example, set A is the set of prime numbers. So what is the set A? Set prime numbers. So we can write it like this. So we can say A, A equals to what? Equals all those prime numbers. Prime numbers is 2, 3, say less than 10. Prime numbers less than 10. So it's going to be 2, 3, 5, 7. So this is the uh, those numbers. I mean, let's try to check how many numbers are in this set. So we have one, two, three, four. It means we have four elements inside this set. So n of a, it means the number of elements of a are four. Very easy. Set b is the set of even natural numbers less than 10. So what is those numbers? So we're gonna say b equals to what? Equals to two, four, even numbers, 6 and 8, but they have to be less than 10. So how many numbers inside? I think it's the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4. So n of b equals to 4. So easy. And uh, the set c is said is the set of natural numbers less than 10 that are multiples of 4. So what is those numbers? We have only two, right? So this is the number 4 and the number 8. So n of c here is only two numbers. Now if we talk about the universal set, is all natural numbers less than 10. So all the universal set, you know that u equals to what? All those numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Exactly less than 10. So we didn't say less than or equal. If it's like this, we have to add 10. Here, so how many elements? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 elements inside. So n of u is 9 elements. As you can see, it's something very easy that we start with, but we need to, to understand better. So from this example, we can identify some important terms that we use, uh, we can use to describe a relationship among sets. So what are those uh, terms, by the way? So those terms, you can find them in your packet too. Yes, everything is detailed in your packet, but let's at least understand those things. So let's first write them again. Uh, I mean, write the sets down again. So we have the set A. What is the elements of the set A? So it's two, three, five. Let me write it down like this and see if I'm good. All right, so seven. The set B is what? Set B is two, four, six, eight. Set C is what? It's two elements, four and eight. And the other one, which is uh, the universal set. So universal set is U equals to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That's it. As you can see, some elements on the set C that you can find in the set B and all those things that we're gonna, is the same thing for B and A. As you can see, we have two in the set B and we have two in the set A. So then we're gonna see all those relations between all those different sets. So the first relation, we're gonna talk about the, the subset 
of sets. So as you can see, let's see this, for example, set. And this one, where is it? Uh, yes, this one, and B. We can find two, and we, I'm sorry, four, sorry about that, four, and we can find A. So all those two numbers are existing. So C, we can say that C, C, and let me write it like this, is a subset, it looks like C, but it's a little bit different, subset of B, is a subset of B. We can use also what we call a Venn diagram. So Venn diagram. And like, I can show you how like it looks on this diagram. So I can write, I mean, I can draw this uh, set right here, which is the set of, uh, let's imagine this is the set of, of B. So the set of C is gonna be inside with those two numbers, which is four and eight. And the rest is two, six, and what is the other one? Two and six, as they are outside, as you can see. And of course, all of them, they are inside the set of, it means they are, all of them, they are inside the set of universal set, universal set. Another uh, notation, which is, I mean, another term, we talk about intersection. Let's talk about intersection between the A and B. What is the intersection between A and B? Let's do the same thing, the Venn diagram. So for the Venn diagram, let me try to do it and see what is this. Intersection, it looks like this. It's the same numbers that we can find. I mean, in this case, all the numbers of C, we can find them on B. It means all the numbers. But in the other case, it's only a few numbers of uh, B that exist. I mean, on, on in A, that exists in B, and the same thing from B exists on A. What is those two numbers? We have two, let's, let's check again. This is two right here, another two right here. Or uh, only one, by the way, it's only one, it's two. So the two is the intersection. So let's say this is A and this is B. So for A is gonna have three, five, seven. And for the other one is gonna have four, six, and eight. And of course, both of them, they are like uh, subsets, if you want, of you. Uh, another thing that we need to know is the union. If we said the union of two sets, the set A, for example, and the set B, let's say the union of two sets. The union of two sets is going to include all the numbers of, it means 3, 5, 7, 2, 4, 6, 8. We don't have to say it again like two times because we say it only one time. So the union, first, let me talk about, about the intersection. At the intersection sign, we're going to say A, intersection, intersect B. So A intersect B equals to what? Is only two, uh, one number, is two. Uh, another thing, A union B is all those numbers, starting from two, four, two, uh, what is it? Two, three, uh, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. And the last one that I want to talk about, it is very important, which is the complement of set A. Let's write it like this. We're going to write it A, complement, or sometimes you will see it like this, the complement of A. The complement of A is the set of all elements in this, the universal set U that are not in A. So the universal set U, let's check first the set A, as you can see, it is 2, 3, 5, 7. So two, three, five, seven. The complement set is all those numbers right here that we didn't check them yet. So it's one, four, six, eight, nine. So if we want to say, uh, write it down, down, we'll say the complement of A is one, four, I'm sorry, one, four, let me see if I, yes, one, four, six, eight and nine and how many elements one two three four five elements yes so this is the first thing that you need to master at least to understand uh i mean to go farther with probabilities